So welcome back to Kettle Bridge. Hope you're having a fantastic day. As nice a day as my residents are having at the moment. This is the first tornado that we've had that is actually hitting the city. And I don't know what it's going to destroy under here. Is it going to like wipe out schools? Is it going to just destroy absolutely everything? Is this bus just going to keep driving through it? Hang on, folks. We'll make it through. Oh my goodness, the school has gone. Darn it. That is going to be a bit of a death wave through our city. And I've got no... Um, I've got rescue services. I've got no of those little shelters is the word I'm looking for, for people to pop in. So I'm hoping this just sort of disappears quite quickly. Oh, this is going to be like the guy, the mansion. Oh, they're calling all the hearses. The Phil Macta mansion is next on the list. <laughs> Wind damage. Oh, mamma mia. This is actually the first disaster we've had that has hit the city. I was going to show you some of the work I've done along here. Um, since that sort of opening introduction. Is the film actor going to survive? He's looking at his window thinking, wow, Bruce Willis is going to play me in the film of this going on. If I survive. Oh, good gravy. At least there's no flying cows. I don't know. I quite like the flying cows and the flying cars. And, oh, don't destroy my key wall. It took me ages to get the key wall. This must be the longest lasting flipping. I'm going to speed it up. Oh, man. The houses are going everywhere. At least it's not destroying the roads. That was one of the biggest bugbears of disasters in City Skylines 1, but I had to go back and destroy the... Uh, destroy, fix the roads again. Oh, good gravy. It's just... <laughs> my life. It's just taking out everything. Normally, we see these far off in the distance and they're never a bother. And now it's like cutting through my city. People are rebuilding already, which is good. How's the traffic going? They're all just sort of... Yeah. Oh, good grief. They're pausing a moment, I think. We've sort of passed the worst of it, and it's now heading off in that direction. Um, let's just keep an eye on this for a second. And it's gone. Thank goodness for that. Um, let's survey the damage. Well, we've actually got uh, an accident that's happened over here. You're waiting for an ambulance. Okay, hopefully everybody will get through. Oh, you've fallen off your motorbike. That is not good. People are getting around the traffic carefully. Very good, very good. Houses are rebuilding. Very good. These have been utterly destroyed. The film actor mansion. We can rebuild it. So I think we're okay there. Fortunately, we can rebuild the elementary school. There we go. Anybody in here? Oh, they're straight back to school. That is what we want to see. Oh, that's got like a separate small park in there. Oh, okay. I thought that was part of the school there. I think apart from that, we've survived we've we've sort of scraped by on that one okay yeah so let me just show you some of the things i've done oh man what i wouldn't do for a prop line tool um i got as far as here i started at the other end and we've got trees now all the way down Ooh, lumpy bumpy. this middle section where they will fit in where they don't fit in i've been sort of upgrading and moving the roads i've missed this big section here you still waiting for it to be cleared yeah a little bit of decorating in the middle here as well which I think looks quite nice, adding a little bit of something. Uh, I've got a few places left to put some trees. Get to this one in the middle here. Nice bit of decorating. Can't do it in the middle of the roundabout. What were you thinking, devs? We want to put trees in our roundabouts or rocks. Anyway, all the way over here. Oh, and I've done this road, this side as well. Look, so now this is sort of closed in on both sides. Oh, nice little bit of decorating here. And I think it looks good. We've left this one open through here with a little bridge um the one i opened up on the other end i've closed it off it just didn't really look right but yeah i'm liking the way that's looking very good very good so we've got a bit of traffic i just spotted along here somewhere um oh the traffic's cleared up okay good so let's dive into the first thing we were going to be doing today which is looking at our oil because we want to unlock the car factory and just before we do that a word from our sponsors instant gaming if you wish to order city skylines 2 please consider using my affiliate link which you'll find in the pinned comment below and on screen right now when doing so you will receive a steam key which can be redeemed on steam as normal but with some fantastic discounts plenty of other games are available too 
I do love a bit of FC24 footy and Forza is certainly my cup of tea as well. Thank you very much for your support. Let's get back to the video. Now, this is going to be a heck of a load of jobs, which is really going to fund our expansion um, out into the wider world. I'd like to start expanding over to here. And this is the place I'd like to put a cargo... Um, what's it called? Let's just jump into our transport tab because we've uh, tab we've opened up the water, the cargo harbour. I'd like to have that over here rather than sort of down here and trying to sort of connect through these waterways. That would make more sense. And then we could have how far out does it go? Up to here? Yeah. So we could have like an industrial complex up here. Uh, we do need to get to the next level to unlock some more squares. But that's the idea. We've got access to the highway access to our train infrastructure and then we can really start expanding uh, all the residences start getting this as a nice big high-rise area down here so let's jump into this tab oh we've got some sculptor mansion old factory condos we'll have a look at those in a bit have we got any others no uh, vehicle factory so we need to get 10 oil drilling area hub buildings um and that is probably another interesting factor to pop in these out um i think it was toady did a video comparing whether it's worth having one large one of these sort of industry buildings like you get with the farms or whether to put small ones in basically uh the only difference is, is if you have multiple of them that the hub building itself um takes up this space doesn't it so if i was able to have this one cover this whole area it would just make more it would just produce more because it wouldn't have the two buildings you know that makes sense doesn't it so what i'm going to do we do have a lot of oil here let's have a look yeah we've got some more oil i'm going to refactor this area with some oil hubs and get a reasonable amount of number in here and see how close we get to 10 so it's going to go from looking like this okay we've unlocked the uh factory i've just been trying a few different layouts of these things and i know oh auto save quick uh, sip of tea there we go it'll end up looking like this i'm not the biggest fan of these ways of laying these areas out but anyway i like running them off the same road like this we've got the paths going through the middle just to add a bit of detail and i think these roads can deal with the traffic we should be fine and then we'll see how much oil we get out of those now the interesting thing where are these these things they don't like they don't like crossing over more than one rail at a time they'll sort themselves out now the interesting thing with this signature building this vehicle factory which is reasonably large is going to give us plus 10 oil deposits city uh, city wide that actually just means it increases the amount of oil uh in the deposit so we're going to do a little bit of a test if we grab the node on this one here and move it back we can see 30.1 tons so we're gonna come back and have a look at that uh where are we gonna place this thing we can unlock one more square i want it sort of this direction but with easy access to the rail yard i'm thinking this square here mm, there we go and they can drive straight in down here not the rail yard the uh, cargo train station i'm hoping we can just bring a road off of there oh don't tell me that's gonna conflict no it won't excellent so if we just bring that up there for now and then pop that alongside here mamma mia that is a gigantic building uh, where is the entrance there so i'm just thinking actually if we go like that there we go we're going to spend a lot of money now and then we're going to draw a road down here and then we're going to flip the building around so it's coming off of this road uh flippity flip and backing up to there there we go how does that look that is a cool looking building i have to say it's got a little gate for people coming in and out going around the back this is where all the deliveries go on oh man please give us access to all these assets oh auto save uh, let's have a quick sip of tea might have already had one today mm. there we go so these are all coming in and out of the rail yard through the back, dropping stuff off, looping around nicely. Yeah, I think that looks good there. Um, so let's take a look at what this is doing. Oh, employees are going up. Look at that number. Because, quick, pause the game. I had a look earlier. We had like 12 point something or other percent unemployment. If we hover that over there and look at the percentage at the same time, 
people are flocking over here to work. Now, the way the game works at the moment, wow, look at those two figures, is people will take the job so they will put their name against the job before they actually come over here to work so nobody's traveling over here yet but the jobs are going wow how low is our unemployment going to go let's just watch that for a second oh it's slowing down no it's picking up again i think we've reached it i think we've reached no nope, it's going every time i say that it gets going again okay hold on It's slowing down, it's dropping, it's coming and going. I think we're about there. I think we're about there. Yeah. 880, 870, 890 is sort of hovering around there. So that is that is fantastic. Um, let's have a, another look at this one here then and see what it's added to this area, this node here. 33.1 suns. There we go. So it's literally added 10% which is what it said it would do. And then if we have a look at our oil down here, we've got a nice, uh, that's coal, uh, oil. We've got a nice surplus, which is really good. So that is going to certainly be making us some more money, which we're making so much money anyway. It's it's basically nuts, I've got to be honest, but that's fine. Um, just while we're here, this road that's going in and out, I'm going to make that one of those. This is all looking okay down here. But I'm definitely going to do it with that one, that one, and this one. Just to keep things moving. I think we'll be okay apart from that. Is there any traffic down here? Everybody's going okay. Excellent. I'm just wondering in here if we could do something about this. I'm guessing you're trying to go down there and you're crossing over, aren't you? Let's just see what happens when he goes. Yeah. And this person's waiting for no reason. Oh, have you come down there and now you're going to back into here? Oh, I'm going to leave all of that and just walk away. Okay, so the next thing on our list uh, that we need to have a look at is just beautifying up our car factory a bit. Now, there's no parking around this at all. I'm assuming that with a thousand odd people working here, um, I've no idea how many people that holds, this overground parking building, but I think that would be... The thing that you would need right next to here to hold all of these people. That is a very... Oh, people are using it already. There we go. Very nice looking parking building. Wow. 160. Is that all? Uh, the parking fee is... I'm going to leave it as it is. That doesn't seem like a lot of people. A lot of spaces for people in there. We are also going to run a bus. So where is our nearest bus line? So it's hard to see, but we've got this purple bus line here that takes in all of this area and it goes over and switches over down there. So I think that would be a very good place for people to come. So we're also going to add a bus shelter uh, outside the front of the building. If we come out of that view, we can see where it's going to go. I think right there would be fantastic. And then we're going to bring that bus line over here where it comes around the roundabout. Yoinkity yoink. And we're going to pop that right on there excellent so that will hopefully help to bring some more people in oh there we go they're arriving in their multitudes parking in here walking across going in the entrance of the car factory that is good to see excellent so yeah so grand margie metals and plastics we're making of the vehicles now i believe we can uh with our taxation go into industrial and just tax vehicles as much as we like and it would just be totally fine so 145 percent efficiency i mean with the amount of money that we are making i am wondering whether we could just drop the taxes they've got polluted water never mind about that uh on some of this here so we can try and get actually let's put that back we're going to drop this down a couple of spots and just see how that affects people moving in and we have demands a go-go we really need to get more people moving in and let's have a look back over here on the main island by biffington springs because we want to start building this area up into more of a high-rise focal point of the city and i'm hoping the fact that we've dropped the rent and we've made mass transit free in the last episode that these people stop complaining we will see what happens so I think what I'd like to do is make a little something of this main road that's heading up here. We've already got it nicely set out. 
uh, with trees and all that sort of thing and some lovely buildings either side. So this is turning really into more of a, a nice shopping area and I'd like to continue that down here. So it does mean that a lot of these places are going to have to go. So let's dezone, if I put it into this mode and dezone and dezone and delete all of these and that'll give us a little bit of space to play with. There we go. Excellent. And then we can continue down here with these ones here are mixed housing. So I'm just going to go for the full on amount of space that it gives us and we'll try and line that up as much as possible. And I think we're going to just continue that. I don't know whether I want to do it all the way down on both sides, but I'm certainly going to dezone. I think that's a special building there. All of these ones down this way. There we go, and we'll definitely zone these ones in here. And then we'll just take a look at what this building is. What have we got? A medical clinic. Oh, no, meant to do the move button. Um, so if we just click that and give that a bit of a shifty around somewhere else. I'm thinking down here would be good. And we're going to possibly rezone the front as well. So now we can continue with zoning all of this all the way along here right up to the end and then we're going to decide what we're going to do there and that's going to take up a lot of our medium density needs that we've got and our shopping needs as well and that will slowly fill in over time which is good um, and then also i'd like the trees although we've got that with the extra lanes coming in on both of those so down here again we can start the trees down the middle of the road that'll be good as far as we can go there we go and going back with the trees Excellent. There we go. I wonder if we add on wide sidewalks as well. Will that also do it with the trees? I don't think that actually makes any difference because we've got the trees. Okay, that's fine. Very good. And then what we can do is we can extend out from this roundabout. So we've got this bridge going across there. And I want to get that feeling again of lots of bridges going across and any sort of places like this that really stand out as being somewhere that's going to work like that. We are definitely going to get that at 90 degrees and come out here somewhere and um, we don't have the option of buying any extra squares yet but what i would think is somewhere now i'm wondering whether we actually need another bridge here because i want to connect this up to the highway down here and this would be the best spot so i'm wondering whether these two could come in either side and then we'll have a junction on here which we can't do at the moment <laughs> so we'll come back to that i'm just going to bring that out to there there we go and then we can start filling in uh, this little section here with some roads too so in our sort of european-ish sort of theme we're doing bendy grids as well as grid grids so let me just fill this in So this is the sort of look I'm going for. So it radiates out from this uh, central section here. We can continue to fill up as we go. I can see the lumpy bumpies there. Don't worry about that. But before we get to that, I want to continue uh, this pedestrian road key wall. And, you know, we're using dev UI mode. We want to make sure that this is as easy as possible. So I'm going to go into simulation bypass validation results. We'll close that menu there and then we can hook onto this and just keep this thing rolling along here. So ignore the red. I'm looking at where it says minus three. Uh, let's drop that down to there. So what I'm doing is every time I put one of these down, I'm trying to get that as close as possible. So minus 1.5 minus 0 0.1. There we go. And that sort of works really well. And I'm just going to sort of carry this along uh, all the coast here. And yeah, I'm just going to fill all of this in. We're probably going to fill in that bit of area there and have it go all the way along there. So it's going to take me a minute or two. I'll do it off camera and I'll be back with you. The one thing that will help is just keeping the, the ground as flat as possible above um, where it's going to go. And that will stop you getting that sort of wall built up on the other side, which you don't want. Um, and then what I'm doing is I'm using all my snap tools to grab the end, turning all of those off. And then, yeah, like I did before, going around and just getting that height 
move. I get the right button. There we go. Look as near to zero as possible. And then just go in from there. There we go. I think that looks a lot neater along the front. I mean, when we get sort of beaches and things like that added, then we can take away some of these and turn them into beaches if we so wish. We'll see how that goes. So now we just need to do a little bit of landscaping across some of these roads. Although I quite like that height there with that. Oh, that's like a dirt dirt road but if that had a nice wall along there that would actually look quite nice let's just see if we can add that in uh, there we go hook those in bring that man into there yeah that's going to sort of add a wall effect so let's try that along here yeah that's quite good isn't it and then if we grab this tool drop that right down oh not that much there we go we can whoa fuel plants oh wow I, don't, I had no idea we were going to be unlocking that. What was the, what was the requirements for that? We're never going to know because I've already unlocked it. But wow. Oh, I know what that one was. I think that was having a certain amount of industrial buildings. It doesn't say on there anymore, doesn't it? Forestry area hub, industrial manufacturing buildings. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. But wow, what size is this? That is pretty big. I'm assuming that's going to give us a load of jobs again. Plus two industrial efficiency citywide. Great minus five industrial ground pollution and air pollution citywide fantastic we will come back to that air plant um right okay so let me just do a little bit of work on the land around here and then we can zone this in oh hopefully if this is going to work okay we're going to end up with a very cool um looking let's have a look let's try and run this along here like so we've got zoning at the top uh, the rocks and a nice little wall at the bottom like so might need to <laughs> might to work on the levels but that's the idea i'm going for <laughs> let me just fix this yeah, there we go that's better i've sort of run that along the front here which is good flattened out these pads for building on and then we've got some space there to run a path down let's just smooth that out around the back of here i think this will possibly be an alley um i don't know how much harder this is going to be to sort of put on here let's have a look and get that wall again no, that's okay let's just run this along here then okay things are looking good then we're going to bring these little roads down and attach to some of these i'm hoping that's going to do it anyway nah too much of a slope i did not see that there so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and go from there and bring that up to there we're then going to hook that in right there lovely jubbly we're then going to add a roundabout as we do then we're going to smooth that one back oh and that is just going to look magnificent we're going to flatten all of this out that one's going to go over the top but uh, whoa jump again we've got a couple of others here we just need to tidy up and then we can get all the zoning done oh i'm loving loving this sort of look no right that needs to go back a bit doesn't it so let's just shave a tiny bit off of there so you still need to do a bit of work with the ground even though you've got on the uh i think that can go straight in even though you've got on the sort of built-in anarchy mod type situation, you know, whatever you want to call it. Boink. That should be okay. Let's try that again. I want to go right click there. I want to go up. Yeah, that seems to be <laughs> a little bit too high. If I right click there and then say go down, that doesn't quite ask because, ah, oh, look, I'm in entirely the wrong tool. That will be why. There we go. We get there in the end. And then I'm going to destroy this carefully organized area down here by adding in another roundabout because I'd like another bridge uh, over the water. Whoa, what's going on? My game seems to have crashed. And we're back in the room. Save often. Yeah, I am using mods, so, you know, things can happen. So we're just going to bring this road out here as well. And I'd like that to cross over there. And this is going to be another bridge across here. So I'm going to sort of set that to there. And then if we go up 10, I'm going to go up, up 10. Oh, I'll press the right button. That would help. That should get us over, but at least show us where it's going to go. That's just not straight at all. I just can't leave it like that. Let's just try that again. We'll go down. We'll go up 10, up 10. 
And can you be 180 degrees? It is excellent. And then I can fill in some other rows around this. Oh, and we've hit large city. Fantastic. 12 more development points, 21 more squares. That's what we need. A glut of money. That is fantastic. That is going to be really, really helpful. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Added a couple of little roundabouts and rejiggered this little road here. Oh, darn it. Need to redo that bit. All right, I'll do that bit. Um, so, looking at the zoning, what I'd like to do is have the zoning facing the front roads, not facing the side roads. So, all the houses are facing the same way in this section here. So, again, that's going to mean a little repo grid at like this to, yeah, there we go, to get the zoning to come off the side roads and I think hopefully most of these should be okay but I'm going to run along here and add parts in any places I think are going to be needed I think I've got it all we'll see how it goes so we're going to get some EU medium density in a lot of these places particularly behind all the shops here a lot of these shops are now complaining about not enough customers uh, which is fine. Uh, let's just see if we can move this a bit just to get some zoning down here. If I delete this one, if I delete that one, if I pop another path across there. There we go. Excellent. We're going to have a bit of this sort of monkeying around, I think, with a lot of these places. Oh, there we go. To get the zoning exactly how we want. The first person to get out some sort of zoning control mod is just going to be, along with a prop line tool, oh, they're just going to be my favourite person. So let's pop those along there. There we go. Excellent. Oh, this has popped up really nicely along here now. So we're getting, oh, there's lots of traffic lights, which I'll, I'll go through and look at those. Now, what do we do opposite this? Do I build this up again with those? Or I'm thinking we leave those buildings like that because now when you're here looking out of these, you're starting to look across the waterways and stuff. So I think having this sort of low density shopping and then housing along the front isn't too bad and we've got our larger buildings along here which for some reason in some places oh i see the zoning's got a bit mix and matosis up around here so we can sort of do something with that there we go that's all grown up nicely we've still got quite a lot of medium demand so what i'm thinking about again is then doing the back of these sections also straight medium demand in there as well hopefully these are still all facing the right direction it looks like it fill up a swathe of that um, this one is okay i've got a little bit of a gap there we're gonna have some gaps for parks and things as time goes by and then after that i think this section and coming outwards here we are then gonna transition down to the low density i'm just wondering whether like these ones along here we could just get some more wide because a nice sort of long stretches of these eu medium density row houses like so there we go we'll have some space for some paths and things to be put there and then once we get down this way i mean some of these roads i'm thinking we could just do with some additional roads coming through here because i'm only thinking of zoning very small places what about if we did this let's just delete these paths we've got going down the side and then, I mean, we could fit another, let's have a look, another block like that. Oh, there we go. And then we could have another block. If you let me just snap where I want to through there as well. Come on, place. Thank you very much. And we can do a similar thing where we pop our paths back down the side again, which I, I might have could have just left them in before. And then it gives us this sort of zoning. So we can have two by two sort of small... Oh, there we go. Small houses like this and see what they look like. And then as these are all growing in, I am thinking that we need some sort of mass transit option around here. Could Are we able to run? Let's come out of that at eight speed. Can we run a tram along our pedestrian road? Is that even possible? Um, let's have a quick look. We've got trams unlocked. Double tram track. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it is possible. Oh, it is possible. How about a tram that just runs all the way around the island? We've got to hook this bit up here. 
that would just be an epic addition. Okay, I'm going to keep that one in mind. Just waiting for these houses to grow. Yeah, there we go. And then we can pop paths through the middle here, can't we? Like that. I think that's okay. Going from these down to the smaller ones. Could we get another one in there? That looks like we need another one in there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let me... We've zoned all of those out. Let me get these sort of sorted with some more roads through here. Oh, I've got to be honest with you. Playing with all of these and trying to get things facing the right direction is all a bag of fun. So <laughs> I'm just sort of doing most of it off camera. Um, and then I'll show you the results afterwards. But oh, no, gone too far. Let's go that way. But so far, I'm liking the look of it. I'm liking the way it sort of layers down. And then when we get round here, we'll add some shops along the front as well. And let's just look from above... Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I might possibly change the direction of some of these houses here and sort of rebuild this area, but that will be for another time. So I'm going to continue filling this out. Okay, the entire island is now surrounded by pedestrian streets. We've got bridges ready to go over. We've got this one here, this one here, this one here, and also that one there. I've just reworked that a bit to get that all to join up. And I am absolutely going to put trams all the way around this thing can i just sort of go from one to the other like that with no problem we can yep excellent wonder how far i can go with this tool all the way along there just making sure it's not shooting off on any other roads we don't want it to go to let's continue this all along the front oh man it's gonna flip and break the zoning love this game so much zoning has become the bane of my life trying to do this because yeah going to keep it on paused oh you put in like the little paths to block the zoning to go a certain way you'll delete a path up here and it'll break the zoning down here it is just absolutely boggles my mind why it's so bad but there we go right let me just continue with this and then i'll fix up all the zoning off camera afterwards oh it's gonna break the zoning everywhere game game you're gonna be the death of me There we go. Excellent. All sorted and fixed up. So now we need to squeeze in our bomb, 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 bomb tram. Our tram depot, which isn't huge, but it's going to take up a bit of space. Immediately, I'm looking over here to the industry, industry, industry area. Um, but I'm thinking, hmm, just somewhere along here would actually be good. We could sort of tweak the road layout which is means it's going to lose us some of these don't zone back in again if you don't mind and then maybe sort of take in this corner spot here and then build the roads around that let's just see what that looks like let's back that up as far as it'll go without getting rid of anything else yeah and of course it's on a really high piece of land Darn it. <laughs> Should have. Oh, look, we've got millions. Look, we've got 100, 100 million. We've hit 100 million. So we're not short of the old moolah. So let's grab this and bring this all back. We'll sort that all out again afterwards. There we go. Excellent. Be gone. Cool. There we go. Very good. Uh, let's place this in again. If you could not snap, that'd be great. Need to do a bit more terraforming up at the back, but that'll be okay. And then we can grab this line here. And I'm really hoping that we can get this to go out in both directions. Um, yeah, let's see. If we do that and go that way. I mean, do you know what? I've actually got... Oh, I think we'll just go straight out. I think that's going to be the way to go. I'll be honest. 180. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll be okay. Then we get the little lines going like that. Just wonder if I can add a little uh, roundabout on there as well. Oh... How's that going to affect everything? It's not, but it's just going to look great, isn't it? Excellent. We're going to pop that on, and then we're going to pop one of these along the front here, and I'm really hoping we can squeeze past, and darn it, we can't. <laughs> Are we going to have to just move this back a little bit? Or, I'll tell you what we could do. If we grab this and grab this, we might be able to turn off snapping and ever so slightly squeeze these out just enough we can get a road pass there 
How's that looking? Let's get this drawn in. I could actually... I know I can put that in there anyway. Oh, no, it does that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Then it's going to hook in. Okay, yeah, I think we need to move this out a little bit further. Oh, we're so close. But I think we get out just that sort of angle. It clips it ever so slightly, but it's not actually hooking into it. So that's okay. And then we're just going to run that up to there for now because we're going to be rezoning a lot of that anyway. So ignore that in the background. But I think that looks nice because we can then put a little bit of detailing out the front here. Um, a lot of this is definitely going to go. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to remove all of this. There we go. And then we can do some zoning in here as well. There we go, all sorted. I'm just backing the zoning up just a little bit from this. And we can do a bit of decorating around there. And then if you want to fill in some more over here, we can with an extra road or two as well. That actually isn't at the height I was thinking it was going to be. I want that height there. That's it. Push that back. Yeah, that'll do. We'll just get some building sort of zoning into there at the same height, and then we can smooth it all around afterwards if needed. Cool, right. So all that's left now is to put some stops in and to run our lines around the city. So where I mean, we're going to want these stops on both sides. Hopefully it's going to let me do that. Yes, it is. Yep, that's both sides. I would say sort of every other segment through here like that um yeah and then these are going to be sort of shopping areas around here so yeah let's stick to every other segment we'll see how it goes and then if we need to sort of adjust it i mean that to me is a big actually no it's not really a big jump is it no we'll see how it goes yeah let's do every other segment there we go that is a lot of stops around there oh, what are your guesses now for how many trams that this is going to put on that line with that many i mean good grief what is that down there Oh, we've got some dogs wandering around. Hello, we've heard about you. Nope, we want to go in this direction. Yes, people leaving their dogs. And lots of dogs appearing everywhere is another bug. Which I'm sure, please, hopefully, that will be fixed. Let me run in at these lines. There we go. Biffington, counterclockwise and clockwise. 24 stops each. Uh, what do we reckon they're going to put on here tramwise? Let us have a look. Actually, if we jump into here. Whoa, 22 on each out of 44 that is a lot of trams that are going to be flying out of here good grief uh, hopefully they're going to spread out a little bit as well which would be good and i'm assuming that these are going to get a reasonable amount of use uh, because once we let's do it in this way there we go yeah, once we start expanding and zoning out all right up to the coast here with shops and other built-up buildings, which we're going to have some more around here, which haven't really done as many as I thought we were going to do. So I think this section over here is going to be rezoned to a nice high-density area and maybe even another little high-density section down here. We'll see how it goes. I think once those get going and we've got all the zoning in, these are going to be used a lot uh, at the minute. Zero usage. Oh, got to remember, ticket price down to zero we've been doing that haven't we <laughs> that is not the button i want to press there we go and ticket price down to zero to free because we've got 100 million what else do we need to spend it on right i just saw down here no vehicles no assigned vehicles 22 out of 45 and this one has got 22 out of 44 so 22 on each there should be enough vehicles for that. I don't know why it's... Oh, they've only got 10 vehicles. <laughs> well, there we go. That is the problem. Uh, garage extension, we can have one. And that will give us 15. And that is literally it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to adjust these to, yeah, 8 and 7. And that will have to be it, won't it? What's the lowest we can do? 11 on that one. Well, this is going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? It's going to be whoever grabs it first in 11 on that one. Oh, I wish we could add another extension on there for that. But unfortunately, we can't. So we'll just have to go with that and, yeah, see how things go. Brilliant. Well, what do you think to our expansions today? Any ideas you've got, let me know in the comments. I think, oh, Kettle Bridge is looking absolutely brilliant. Can't wait for the next episode. So subscribe if you want to see that. 
and I will see you then. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.